In this video, I'll show you how to convert any number into engineering notation. Engineering notation is similar to scientific notation except for a few notable differences. The, and they're written below. The exponent is a multiple of 3, and the exponent that I'm referring to is the exponent of the power of base 10. There can be only 1, 2, or 3 digits to the left of the decimal point rather than just one digit. To the right of the decimal, it can be as many as required. These numbers below are numbers written in engineering notation. Here we have 66.3 times 10 to the power of 3. So this is an engineering notation because here you have uh, it's, uh, two things are satisfied. You have two numbers to the left of the decimal, and this is a multiple of 3. 10 to the power of 3 is a multiple of 3. So is 6, so is 9, so is 12. You get the point. 9, 12, 6, all of these satisfy that rule. In addition, uh, this one, the decimal point is right there. There's one, num there's one number to the left of it. In this case, there is no decimal place or appears that there isn't one, but there is. It's right there. And there are three numbers to the left of it. So that also uh, works. And so is this one and so on. So let's convert some numbers that we have below into engineering notation. The first number is 21,840. So, in order to convert this number into engineering notation, we must do the following. First of all, we can start off by seeing what it would look like in scientific notation now. This is what it would look like in scientific notation, but it does not work if we want to convert it into engineering notation. The reason why is because 10 to the power of 4 is not a multiple. 4 is, th four is not a multiple of 3. Okay, 6 is a multiple of 3, 3 is a multiple of 3, 9 is, but not 4. So what we can do is we can make it into 21.84 times 10 to the power of 3, and that will give you the original number. So this right here is the correct answer. Let's try the next one. Here we have 548,000. We must convert it into engineering notation. We can start off by writing it in scientific notation. In scientific notation, it would look like this. And as you can tell, this part of the expression works, but this part doesn't. 5 is not a multiple of 3. So what can we do? We can't make that into a 6. So then, then we would have to move this decimal to the left. And that's not allowed because it has to be 1, 2, or 3 numbers to the left. So what we can do is we can write down 5, 4, 8 times 10 to the power of 3, and that works just as well. There's your answer. For numbers less than 1, it helps to separate the digits following the decimal point into groups of 3. So in this case, we have a number that's less than 1 but greater than 0. And as suggested here, we can write this out like so where, as you can tell, it's separated every three digits. And what we can start to do is we can, I suppose we can put the decimal right here and use scientific notation to see where that takes us. And if we do that, we end up with, well, it will be negative 1. And that doesn't work, even though the left part of the expression works. It fits the, the rules, but this part does not. So let's move the decimal place one over. Let's see if that works. That didn't come out right. Let's move it over right there. And if we do that, then you have 10 times 10 to the power of negative 2. And that still doesn't work. So what we can do is we can move it in a third time, and that would make it into 10 to the power of negative 3. So what we end up with is 872.17 times 10 to the power of negative 3. Three. Now, does that work? I think it does, because negative 3 is a multiple of 3, and here we have three numbers after the decimal, which is allowed. So that's your final answer right there. Let's try a few more. Here we have 0 0.00073649, and 
the tip above said it helps to put them into groups of three, so let's do that and see how that helps us. I mean, you don't have to do this, it's just a tip for you. So what we can start doing is we can start putting it in scientific notation. By the way, you don't have to put in scientific notation. I'm just doing this for for uh, uh, instructional purposes, but you don't have to. So let's just do that. It would be times 10 to the power of 1, 2, 3, 4, 10, 10, 10, 10, 4. That doesn't work, okay? 4 is not a uh, negative 4 is not a multiple of 3. So what we can do is we can bring this over, and that would make that negative 5, or we can bring it twice over, 736.492 times 10 to the power of negative 6, because if we were to hypothetically place it there, which what we did, you would count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's your final answer. And lastly, hopefully you can figure this one out now, now that you're a professional, you have this huge little number. And what we can do is, well, we can start off by putting, um, well, I'll just follow my own rules. One, two, three. One, two, three. Zero, four, seven, two. I'm just grouping it in threes. And we can start off by doing 4.72 times how much, what would that be? If we put the decimal place there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, times 8, 10 to the power of negative. That doesn't work. Uh, let's try bringing it over. 47.2 times 10 to the power of negative 9. And that, ladies and gentlemen, works perfectly. Hopefully this video helped you out, and if you have any questions regarding uh, scientific notation, engineering notation, or anything else, visit biology forums.com post your question there and it will be answered perfectly see you soon